I've been living in my parents' house. I really need to get out. I need to get out now. When we see something that you like, we need to act on it that day. I'm gonna have to think about it for a little bit. You what? Navigating the rental market for the first time isn't easy. Not only are good properties hard to find, but it's competitive and they move fast. First time renter Scott is a single school teacher who still lives under his parents' roof. He's desperate to gain some independence and a one bedroom rental on his own. I'm a teacher. I teach grade two, three. My professional life is thriving right now, but my personal life has been put on pause. I've been living in my parents' house under their rules. My own private room is a little bedroom upstairs. It's definitely tight quarters. Have a good time. Not too late. I really need to get out. I need to get out now. Scott needs to get downtown where all the action is. For this young professional, it's all about location. Right now, I'm looking at easily an hour and a half commute. And in the wintertime, it's just brutal. And for most of my friends that already live closer to the city, half an hour and they can get wherever they want. Kyle and I have been friends for 25 years. I'm hoping to get from Kyle a second opinion. I will say what I think, positive or negative, about each place. I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> the shoes! Dress shoes and running shoes. Don't even get me started on those shoes. I have nowhere to put them. I have really no room to move. Scott's been looking for a downtown rental for the past six months, but he can't find anything he likes on his budget. I'm going to help this rookie navigate the rental market and get him into his very first apartment. Hi. Hey, Scott, how are you? Pretty good, Jordan. Nice to see you. Hello, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Kyle, what's your role here? Oh, I'm just a uh, friend making sure that the place has enough room that I can sleep there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some moral support, <laughs> some couch surfing. Okay. Yes, ma'am, yes. Got it. Okay, what would be on your wish list if you had a wish list? I'm definitely looking for something that's really open. A big open kitchen for me to move around. I would love a nice dining room or okay. at least a spot to eat. Okay. I'm always looking for big windows. Yeah. Nice sunshine coming in. And I have lots of clothes. I'm actually sort of overflowing in clothes right now. OK, so we need a nice size closet. You know what? I think a shoe rack would be really important. I need something to organize my shoes. <laughs> OK. What have you got to spend? I'm looking at about $750 to $900. OK, so utilities um, could easily run you that whole $150 um, wow, I range. I didn't expect that. <laughs> so uh, we'd be looking at places, $750 that are not including utilities, and up to $9 that are including. OK. OK? And the other thing you need to know is the rental market right now is banging. So when we see something that you like, if you don't want to lose it, we need to act on it that day. Wow. All right, so um, I got to get to work. Scott wants to live downtown, but he just doesn't have the budget for a downtown rental that meets all of his criteria. In my opinion, he's either going to have to compromise on location or knock a couple of things off his wish list. First up, I'm taking Scott to a spacious one bedroom right on the subway line. From here, Scott will be able to get anywhere in town in under 30 minutes. This first floor apartment is in a residential neighborhood where many single family homes have been converted into affordable rentals. Lower rents mean younger renters. They've brought an up and coming vibe to the area without the hefty downtown price tag. So you said you wanted to live downtown. We're close to restaurants and a nice little market. Great. Head in, have a look around. Oh, wow. Nice Not living bad, room. Man. Yeah, man. It's about the size of the space I thought you'd be working with. So you could fit a couch here perfectly that I would sleep on. Yeah, I can definitely put my couch here. It was a nice setup just for a couch and a TV. Yeah. But if I were to put other things in there, yeah. it might be a little bit crowded. Maybe. What Scott doesn't realize is this is an absolutely normal size for a living room on his budget. Nice big windows. Lots of sunlight will be coming in. I like the ceilings, you know, the texture of them. Yeah, it does look good. I like the pattern. It doesn't really need a paint job. Can't just... reach. That's a good thing for being tall. Yeah. Let's see the bathroom. Not bad. Good space. I can actually sit down on the toilet. I've, off leg room. I've been to some people's <laughs> apartment where I sit down and my knees hit the wall or the bathtub. Kitchen's next, buddy. Oh, nice size. Good size. Good space. Um, only thing I would say, the cupboards look a little outdated, but your shoes match the <laughs> <laughs> Even though it matches the shoes, you know, we need to change that. It's a good size kitchen to cook in. Eating in it. 
might be a little problem. We gotta think of an idea for the dining room table. Because you don't wanna be sitting in front of the TV when you're entertaining. No, 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 no. You don't like sit in front of the, you do not no. sit in front of the TV. You wanna check out the bedroom? It's a decent size. It's not too big, though. There's not a lot of space on either side of the bed. Where am I going to put all my stuff? Yeah. Scott's used to living in his parents' suburban home. In the suburbs, places are just bigger. He's going to have to get used to the idea of losing some square footage to live downtown. There's not a lot of room at all. Enough room for your shoes and stuff. I'll take some of your clothes. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> so what do you think? It's a very nice place. I'm not a big fan of the yellows. Cabinets it seems a little bit old. It is, but there's lots of different things we could do. The best way to update an older kitchen in a rental is by changing the hardware and painting the cabinetry. I'd even add a prefab pantry and paint it out the same color to make it look continuous with the existing cabinets. Easy for any renter to do themselves. This kitchen has more than enough room for the eat-in area Scott wants. A small table will provide a place to dine, as well as extra workspace in a pinch. Jody, you're full of ideas for this house. <laughs> <laughs> Not just another pretty face. <laughs> they are asking 925. My maximum is 900. 25 more dollars, even though it doesn't seem like a 12 lot. 12 months, that's like $300. <clears throat> that's exactly right, $300 know, a year. That's giving me a little bit of hesitation to take this place. There is a chance that we may be able to negotiate that $25 down. I think it's definitely a contender. I really like the area. The location's pretty good for work. Space is a little bit of a problem. It doesn't have the openness that I'd like, yeah. but it's definitely on the list, for yeah. sure. If this is the type of neighborhood that Scott wants to live in, he's going to have to compromise on things like square footage and closet space, or he could come up with more money. Scott asked for a spacious apartment right downtown, and that's exactly what I found him. I'm taking him to a huge one-bedroom right in the middle of one of the most popular entertainment areas. In fact, this rental sits on top of a trendy and rather noisy restaurant. The apartment's big, but is Scott willing to sacrifice quiet evenings to live here? This is it. Really? It's wow. pretty building, eh? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Right on top of stores, restaurant. So, have a look. Most people want to hang out where all the action is, but then go home to an area that's slightly quieter. If Scott can handle the noisy nights, this could be just the place for him. Oh, wow, this is huge. Now this is a bedroom. Nice big window, you know? Wow, look at that window. This is impressive. If I thought I had a problem with shoes and clothes before, mm. this is the solution to it. Oh, for sure. Bedroom of my dreams. It has so much space, room for everything I need and have. I can buy more shoes. <laughs> I can buy more. That bedroom is huge. You could fit an entire shoe store in there. This is only part of the apartment, and I'm already loving it. So let's check out the bathroom, then. It's almost like a master suite. You just walk out of this incredibly large bedroom, yeah. right into a great bathroom. Oh, lots of room in the shower. This bathroom needs a little bit of work, but I think it's got loads of potential. Wow. Now this is space. Lots of room. The cupboards aren't as outdated as the last place. I like it. I like it. Lots of room. I knew Scott would love this kitchen. It's huge. He'll have no trouble fitting a table in here. I love the kitchen. What, yeah. the paint? Well, we don't even need to talk about that. It's multicolored. Yeah. Blue, pink. I do have a shirt that would match this perfectly. <laughs> I do have a shirt that would I match this just perfectly. The same thing. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Beautiful. Right out yeah. on a balcony. Buddy. This is incredible. This is, this is incredible. Look at oh, this. Man. A nice little oh, patio area. This is just yeah. an added bonus. This Seriously. is absolutely incredible. Yeah. This is something I didn't even expect you to have in any of the places. No. Nice oh. big window. The living room. Only issue immediately that I have is the narrow space. Narrow space. You do have that huge TV. So for example, if the couch were set up where this one happens to be. Okay. Wow. But possibly if the TV was set up in the back wall right here, I don't see a big issue with it. No. So, what do you think? It's great. This bedroom is incredible. I thought I had a problem with space before. Yeah. This sure. would solve all my problems. Well, here's where I'm going to ask you to keep an open mind. I think this is your living room, and the other room is your bedroom. OK. With so much space, this would make a fabulous living room where you could fit more than just a couch and a TV. 
Painting the walls a masculine dark green would set the backdrop for a living space complete with a large pull-out couch for friends and additional seating. With the fireplace being such a great feature, I'd paint it out white and hang a TV above. Oversized bookshelves would provide lots of storage, and if books aren't your thing, they could even house a hefty shoe collection. With the ideas that Jody has to redo it, I love the place. Well, that's good, because they're asking $8.95 inclusive. It is near your max, but dude, like, it's awesome, man. I'm gonna have to think about it for a little bit because it is my maximum price range. I really think this is the space for me, and as soon as I see the next apartment, I'll know for sure. In a market as red hot as this, you just don't have the luxury of time before you commit. If you see something you love, take it. Before making his move, Scott wants to see all of his options. So I'm taking him to another downtown rental, right in the middle of all the action. It's in a charming, low-rise building that is recently renovated and well-maintained. So this is the building. Oh, wow. So it's a walk-up style apartment building. I'm gonna let you guys have a look inside. Oh, definitely a lot smaller. It's very clean. It is a little small. This rental is spotless, which is a really good indication that the landlord cares about the place and will look after it. It is not a kitchen that you can like sit and entertain in. Entertaining is going to be a little tough. And then where am I gonna put a table to eat on? Okay, I'm guessing this, this would be the bedroom. bedroom. Hmm, your bed. Yeah. At least. This bedroom will fit a queen size bed and a dresser. Right now, Scott's sleeping on a single bed. This bedroom isn't huge, but it's a huge step up for Scott. You know, and then your dress, and how do you put your dress together? Well, let's see the closet. There we go. Uh, Even if you put your shoes along there, they'd be like piled up, like <laughs> Oh, we have a window though, that's always good. Oh, for sure. At least there's one thing he likes. Oh, nice looking bathroom. I like the fact that it seemed like everything was new. Now, I'm a little bit worried about the height of the shower. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have much hair, but... <laughs> There's a little bit of an issue. I guess the shower's gonna have to be a little side thing. Um, this isn't a shower for two. I do have a concern that everything seems to be small. Okay, this is what I saw. Small rentals mean putting your creativity to the test. These days, there are a ton of options for double-duty furniture pieces. A pull-out couch would tuck nicely against the wall with a coffee table that also acts as a footrest or extra seating. I'd make use of the wall nook by adding shelving and a narrow desk that could be used as a dining table and inexpensive chairs that can be used anywhere in the room. With the right look, this could be one cozy bachelor pad. I love that suggestion. But it still doesn't have everything that I'm looking for. Maybe the price will convince him. This one's on at 825. The price is right. So I'm really gonna have to compare, is saving some money really worth the sacrifice? You got some decisions, buddy. I think you have some thinking to do, but you've gotta think fast. I've shown Scott three rentals. The first floor apartment on a residential street was close to the neighborhood he loves, but slightly above his budget. The spacious but noisy apartment above a busy downtown hotspot meets all of Scott's requirements. But is he willing to pay top dollar and give up a good night's sleep? The pint-sized yet open concept apartment in the low-rise building would save Scott money, but will he compromise square footage and a hip downtown address? So Scott, it's decision time. Mm -hmm. First floor apartment, downtown hotspot, or small but sparkling walk-up? Which rental will Scott choose as his very first apartment? I think I'm gonna go with the second place. I really like it. It is at the max of my budget, but it's everything I'm looking for. I think you're making a really good choice. So I'm gonna call the landlord and see if we can get this place for you. Good luck. I think I made the right decision. I really do. Hi, Louie, it's Jody Gilmore. Landlords can sometimes be wary of first-time renters. Since you don't have references from past landlords to make your case, ask your employer to give you a recommendation instead. It helps to have your credit report ready to hand over. The goal is to show the landlord you're responsible and organized. But I think I'm ready to put together a lease. You what? So I spoke to the landlord and he leased the place out today to a friend. I was afraid this would happen. Holy cow. I'm sorry, I know you were really hot on this place. I gotta admit, this is really disappointing. Next time we go looking at places, check in hand, and we need to make a decision right away. So I think what we need to do is keep a positive mind, go look at a few more places. The moral of this story, when you see a rental you love, act fast. 
bright and early the next day, I gave Scott a pep talk and lined up a visit to another rental. I'm taking Scott just around the corner from the rental he lost to a spacious one bedroom that occupies the main floor and basement of a huge semi-detached house that's been divided into three units. I like the style of two-story in a home because it feels more like a house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is main floor, kitchen and family, and a basement bedroom. Go in, have a look at the place. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, I like this open concept. I walk in, I see space, I see, oh, I can put my couch there, my TV there. Looks yeah, good. Yeah, I like the kitchen. Like it's a big open area. This is awesome. Mm. This kitchen has the best of both worlds. It's renovated and it's huge. And it's open enough here that you can entertain. Like, you can have a table here. Have you yeah. seen any of the apartments with two sinks? No, I don't know. So. It is, it's open. Yeah. Like the whole, it's just one big space. Yeah. Like echoes, hello, hello. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this space, but it's great. Hello. Three big windows. And should we walk downstairs? Check out this basement. And check out the floors. Ooh, buddy, I can get my slide going on in here. <laughs> it's a nice bedroom, man. This is really nice. Separating the two floors, you have the place where you sleep, you have the place where you socialize. I love that. That bedroom is almost the full size of the basement. Look, buddy, look how much space you got back there to put all your shoes. You can, like, stack them up back there. Yeah, that's a pretty big closet. And, oh, buddy, there's more than enough room for your bed, your dressers. Scott said he wanted a bedroom with square footage. Oh, the bathroom. Nice and roomy. Not bad, not bad. What is this? I don't know. It looks like something that an ex-girlfriend would leave behind when they tried to decorate your place. I <laughs> really don't like it. A laundry, a laundry room. room. Having laundry on site wasn't on Scott's wish list, but it should be. It is coin operated, but it's right here in your house. A dollar each? That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't have to lug clothes everywhere. So, what do you think about this place? It's great. Talk about an open concept. We will have to play around with the furniture. The alcove by the window is the perfect place for a dining area. I'd add an inexpensive table and chairs to create a formal eating spot. Positioning the couch in the center of the room would create a pass-through to get to the basement while maintaining a cozy living space with a rug defining it. In a rental, an inexpensive shelving unit can be used to create some separation between the kitchen and living area. Adding stools below will give you an instant breakfast bar. I think she has a lot of good ideas, definitely. The lease price is $9.50, and it does not include utilities. Oh. That means this place could be as much as $150 more per month than Scott wanted to pay. So I need you to think about it and decide whether this area and this place is worth that for you. I definitely think it's worth the money. I really do. So is this the one? Yeah, let's not wait too long on this place. Give the landlord a call. Hi, Elda. Jody Gilmore, how are you? That's going to be a really big disappointment if this place falls through as well. I hate waiting, man. I'm so impatient at times. Trying and to keep the stress low. Have I got some news for you guys? <laughs> that sounds like semi good news to me. I'm hoping that's good news. Sometimes you get it. Yeah. And it, we got it. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Landlord said yes. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. Feels really good. Good job, buddy. You got yourself a couch. <laughs> Scott learned his lesson. He didn't wait a minute and put an offer in right on the spot. Since this is his first apartment, Scott didn't have much furniture, so he convinced his parents to donate some hand-me-downs, including a sofa and mattress. Instead of moving on the weekend like most renters, Scott took a day off work and rented a moving van at a lower weekday rate. Roping Kyle into helping him with the move instead of hiring professionals kept Scott's moving cost down to $200. I promised Scott I'd turn his open concept rental into a space for dining, as well as lounging in front of the TV with friends. As a renter, you don't want to spend too much money on decorating an apartment you don't own. So I've given us a tight budget. Everything here has to come in under $900, which is less than one month's rent for Scott. The least expensive way to personalize a rental is with a couple cans of paint. Painting the walls a crisp white will keep everything feeling new and clean. An accent wall in a bold teal will add a little style. And an inexpensive slip cover will give his secondhand couch a new feel on a renter's budget. When I'm done with it, I hope it'll be the perfect space for this first time renter. Hello. Hi, Jody. How are you? 
Not bad. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. This is incredible. <laughs> this is great. I love it. All the paint, the colors are beautiful. You like that? This is so awesome. This place just yeah, no. stands out. It really speaks to me. Good. Let me just get comfortable here. I love it. It's, it's so nice, flexible nice. space, right? Because you could add to this or take away from it. It could be your breakfast bar. I can see the TV. I can sit here yeah. and have my bowl of cereal. And so we moved to the table from being in this corner, which was a little cramped, and blocked your pantry to over in this area. I think that's perfect. Uh, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now Scott's got two dining areas, an informal countertop in the kitchen and a more formal dining table by the window for entertaining. I had this vision and you took it to the next level. Good. This is incredible. The bedroom. So good. So you guys like the shoes. What about the room? This is great. Oh, beautiful. My degrees are over there, too. So oh. where'd you get these forged again? <laughs> we came in just under budget. Updating Scott's first rental only cost $850. So I hope that I've captured the right space to let you grow into the man you want to be and support your new lifestyle. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience. I found what I was looking for. And that's the most important thing. It's really nice to be able to have a place that you can enjoy, see a lot of potential in it. Yeah. And the landlord said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like getting up the courage to talk to a girl and like, oh, OK, and smile. And she walked away. <laughs> but this time, she actually gave you her number. Yeah. And you got a date. And that date's a year long. <laughs> Megan and I made the decision to move in together, but we're having a bit of a debate. It's not exactly where I wanted to be. I like it. It's really close to my work. That's a little bit more than we were thinking we would pay. I think our limit is negotiable. We have to do a lot of compromising. compromising. After five years of long distance dating, Elliot and Megan are finally in the same city and have decided to set up house together. But that's just about the only thing they can agree upon. I want more of a sleek apartment. I really like more of a zen style. We have to do a lot of compromising, compromising I think. I've been staying with my aunt in this pretty small apartment. I don't really have enough space for all my stuff, and when Elliot stays here, it's a little bit tight. When I come down on the weekends, this is all the space that Megan will give me. Megan has a single bed. We have to both kind of squish in here. What makes things even more complicated is that both are relatively new to the city, and their search thus far has left them nothing but disappointed. Somewhere in this city, there's got to be an apartment that's perfect for us. I think Elliot's been looking online for about six months now. It's been a little bit frustrating. I think because of our different mindsets of what we want, we really need somebody else to be the uh, mediator here yeah. and really help us find something that'll work for both of us. And that's why they called me. I'm gonna help Elliot and Megan find a place they can both agree on. But I have a funny feeling with these two, that's a tall order. Come on in. Oh, thank you. you. Come. Welcome to my aunt's apartment. It's tight. We have quite a bit of stuff and small space, so it's a little bit crowded. Is any of this yours? No, just the stuff in my bedroom is mine. My workspace and my sleeping space. It feels like a kid's room or like first year college, university. Yeah, yeah not something two adults should be staying at. No, no, no so. I can see how it might be a little tight. So you guys have been dating long distance for five years? Yeah, it's been quite a while. When are you actually moving here? in about a month. So what are some of the things that will make you feel comfortable for your first time living together? Location's the big thing for us. Yeah. I want to be down on the waterfront. I can walk to work from there. I'm working about an hour north of where he works, so I'd prefer to live about halfway in between. So what's on your wish list? We really need a parking space because we do have one car. I'd really like to be close to transit. I think in-suite laundry would save a lot of time. 
I'd like lots of light, preferably like floor to ceiling windows. And with all of our stuff, I think we need a lot of closet space as well as kitchen space. Okay, that gives me lots to go on. So you're a teacher, you're a lawyer, why not buy? Even though we've been together five and a half years, we've never really lived together before, so we want to get that feel of what it's like before we make that huge commitment. What's your budget? The max? <laughs> this is another issue of debate, but I think what we've settled on is a maximum of about $2,000. Where is the debate? I was willing to go up to twenty one or 2200 if we could find a place that just blows us away. For me, I'd like to save a little bit more money. I have a funny feeling that compromise will be the name of the game here. Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. I'm very confident I can find an apartment that satisfies Elliot and Megan's wish list. Yay, Jody! But somebody's gonna have to compromise on location. Searching for an apartment while living out of town can be a real challenge. Rarely are apartments posted online more than a month prior to availability. What you can do is narrow down your preferred areas and compare rentals for affordability. I've brought Megan and Elliot to a condo right in the center of the city. This building is in the heart of Midtown. That puts us in your compromise zone as far as location goes. What's good about it too is that it's got parking. And Megan, you're about a five minute drive to the nearest highway that would get you to work. Elliot, the building has public transportation in the basement, which is good for you. Great. Let's have a look inside. So come on in. So there's a double closet here. It's mm. excellent for storage. That's it's great. Cool. I like the storage space that's in here and the space in the kitchen. The kitchen is a nice size for us, but I think the cupboards are a bit outdated. Yeah, and these countertops are a little ancient. <laughs> for a six-year-old building, you're absolutely right. These finishes are really outdated. Mm -hmm. They're from, you know, 15, 20 years ago. The good news is the property manager for this particular suite is very keen on doing some updates. This lady is willing to put in hardwood floors and granite countertops. That says to me she'd be great throughout the entire lease. Now for the rest of the space. I like the fact that you have the bench up front yeah. so you can eat there, but then you don't have room for the dining room table. No. Right, so I think like in this case, they've put a bistro table in. I think in this room, this is where you eat <laughs> and you forget about a formal dining area and this is your lounge area. Yeah. Okay. It's really tight in there. We were worried we weren't going to have enough furniture to fill out our apartment, but in here I think we'd have too much furniture. <laughs> this place comes furnished oh. or unfurnished. I like that couch. Uh, <laughs> there's also a little den that you should take a peek at. Okay. okay. I like the natural light that comes in here. Yeah, there's a lot of light in this apartment, which I like. So what I was picturing we could do in here, I'll create a large desk, which will run the entire length of the room, providing a work area for both Megan and Elliot. Open shelving will create storage, and a floor-to-ceiling mirror leaning against one wall will give the illusion of more space. So, looks like a regular bathroom, mm -hmm. but look behind the door. Oh, the laundry, that's great. So, and what would you say if this was one of two bathrooms? Oh. That's exactly what we're looking for. Come see the master. Oh, wow. It's a good size. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty much what I expected for a room. It's a big perk that there's an extra ensuite bathroom here. Wow. And then another double closet. The closet would be maybe big enough for my stuff, and I don't know where Elliot might put his stuff. Yeah, I've got hockey equipment, and I don't think Megan would want me stinking up all of her clothes. I think we were hoping to have a storage locker. That wasn't on your wish list. No, but it is something that uh, we've discussed in the last little while. They didn't tell me that they needed a separate storage locker for stinky hockey gear. That's something I would have liked to know. It's bang on budget at $2,000 per month inclusive, whether you take the furniture or not. I think it's a contender. We do like this place. I think we're looking forward to seeing what else you might have for us. When renters have differing wish lists, like Megan and Elliot, they're likely going to have to compromise on something. My next rental should make Elliot happy, as it's located exactly where he wants to live, right on the waterfront and about a two minute walk to work. So Elliot, you wanted to live down by the water. Well, we've got water in the lake and water pouring from the sky for you. But I think the building that I'm about to show you is really great for you because it's brand spanking new. It's also got parking and beautiful amenities that are almost ready. <laughs> take a look, because I'm going to take you all the way up to the 17th floor. Absolutely worthwhile getting a little bit wet for. So come on in. Okay. There's a nice four-piece bath right when you walk in. Wow. And what do you think of this? Yeah, this is kind of like my ideal kitchen. I don't always do a lot of cooking, but when I do, that would be the perfect kitchen for me to be in. 
I love the stainless steel appliances. The covered storage is fantastic. Everything matches. <laughs> that's good. That's really great. And the double sink, too. Oh, that's nice. With the granite countertops. I like it. <laughs> we like everything about the kitchen. There's nothing we would change about it at all. We have... Oh, nice. On to laundry. Perfect. Laundry. Very nice spot, too, for it. This is good. There is no locker, but you've got a double closet there oh, for perfect. storage. Perfect for that hockey equipment we were talking about earlier. I don't know. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of the place. So what do you think? Open concept enough for you? Yeah, yeah I, I love it. There's a huge open space where you could definitely entertain your friends. The floor to ceiling windows are fantastic. Yeah, the there's a ton of light here. So I know this is an open concept space and sometimes it's hard to figure out what to do with it. So this is what I was thinking. I'll pair a large sectional with two chairs to create a living room that is both functional and stylish. Elliot's flat screen TV can then be tucked against one wall. Because the dining area is so small, I'll choose a round table with four chairs. With Jody offering to help organize things and get things in the right spot for us, it would be a really great living space. And then you've got a little bit more of an intimate area here. It could be your formal dining area. For entertaining, it'd be perfect. Let's check out the bedrooms. So, this would be like your guest room. Okay. Or your office. You could easily fit at least a desk or maybe two desks in a pull-out here. And it gives you an extra closet. Oh, that's that's a big closet, too. So Elliot can have a closet for his things, and I have a closet for my things. This is the master. Wow. Great. It's a big room. We could fit all of our furniture in there with room to spare. The landlord is planning on putting in custom blinds. Oh, oh great. Yeah. great. Yeah, so you'd have some privacy and, and some ability to control the light as well. Another closet for you and another bathroom. Oh, that's nice. So another full-size washer in here. So, it's good? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's really good. So at this place, you have everything you're looking for, but that comes at a price. $2,200 plus per month. So we're a little bit over budget. I knew there was a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> it is about $200 at least dollars over our budget. Is that price too much for you? That's been the big debate all along, right? Yeah. I think our limit is negotiable. <laughs> But I'm not so sure. Well, it is two minutes from your office, so you would cut having a transit pass. So that's probably $100 a month that you'd be saving. I think we'll have to have a serious talk about what we can manage. Most young professionals want to live in the downtown core because of the convenience and amenities. But I want Megan and Elliot to see a condo just a few minutes north of the city center, where they will get much more bang for their buck. I brought you here because this neighborhood is so much closer to Megan's work. We are around the corner from Megan's aunt where she's currently living. That's great. There's also transit one minute away, so that'll get you right downtown fairly quickly. This is a three-year-old building, and because we're so far from downtown, there's lots of perks. It's got two bedrooms, two parking spaces, and a locker. Let's have a look. Great. Come on in. So this is the first of two bathrooms. Not too bad, I like the size of it. I think having a second bathroom would be key for us. It's a relationship saver. <laughs> so the master's right here. Okay. Ah, nice, walk-in closet. The walk-in closet's always been something I've wanted forever. I always wanted one since I was little. I have a feeling I'm not gonna get to use any of that space. <laughs> That's okay, because it's oh, a double. There's a man closet. Here's there's your closet. It's good. His and hers. Nice. <laughs> I guess I should be excited about the extra storage space, but I get the feeling I'm not gonna get to use any of it anyways. There's also an ensuite right behind oh. you. We've never lived together before, and I really would prefer to have my own washroom. Let's see the rest of the bedroom. Wow. There's a lot of space in here. Yeah. We have a lot of big furniture for a bedroom, so I think it will nicely fit in here. So there's laundry right here. Oh, OK. Yeah, good storage. So and it's a galley kitchen. Fancy yeah. galley kitchen. It's really new. The stainless steel, I love it. There's actually enough storage space. This is a good sized kitchen. The kitchen is fantastic. I love the new appliances. There's enough space for all of our stuff. There's also tons of space for our little bistro set here. Oh, oh that'd be nice. nice. With the window as well. Yeah, that's really good. Let's see the living space. Great. So nice yeah. open living room. It's really bright in here. Yeah, the floor to ceiling windows are awesome. I love them. Just the one thing about this room, it just seems kind of like awkward and small to me. I think your main problem with it is you don't know where you can put your ginormous flat screen TV. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, that's my biggest concern. OK. Window coverings will create intimacy in the large open space. 
A rug will warm up the room and clearly define the seating area. Placing the couch against the windows leaves a large wall for a television. Just as long as I can fit my TV in there, I'm fine. So this bedroom is big enough for an office that can double as a guest room. And there's also more closet space. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> I get the impression that this is actually where my stuff's going to go, and she's going to take over both of the closets in the master bedroom. That's very possible. <laughs> that's how it works at my house. <laughs> is that another closet over there? This is actually a furnace. OK. That seems a little strange to me. It's actually quite normal. They've got to go somewhere in a condo. It's a little bit noisy. Does it make a lot of noise? Uh, it's a white noise, a bit, of, a bit of a hum. I think the noise with the furnace in that room, I think we can get over that. I think it's not the greatest, but it has to go somewhere, right? So what do you guys think about this place on a whole? I like it. I guess my biggest concern would be the location. It's not exactly where I wanted to be. I like it. It's really close to my work. You can always take the transit line to work and back. It's possible. <laughs> This place has everything on your wish list and more. And it's under budget at $1,800 per month. Wow. Yeah. $1,800. Megan and Elliot want to live downtown, close to all the action, but their dollar will go a lot further, closer to the suburbs. I needed to show them at least one big, spacious, inexpensive place so they could make an informed decision. That's yeah, that price. is a bit of a game changer. I think I could sacrifice living downtown with that sort of price. We've seen some great places. Why don't we go talk it out, see which one's right for you. The Midtown Furnished Condo, the expensive unit by the waterfront, or the spacious uptown two-bedroom. Which one will Megan and Elliot choose? We saw some great places today. What did you think about the Midtown Furnished Condo? I really liked it. It's sort of midway between where I work and Megan works. Yeah, I think it was nice. It was a bit too small for what we're looking for. And what did you think about the all-glass waterfront condo? I love that apartment. I love the location. I could walk to work from there, so that's just ideal. It's a little bit longer of a commute for me, unfortunately, and it was really way above our budget. And what about the uptown two-bedroom? really wasn't open to living that far away from work, but I was really surprised by how much I liked that place. It was under budget and it had everything plus more. So which one's it gonna be? I've shown Megan and Elliot three rental apartments. It's going to come down to location. Will it be the expensive waterfront condo near Elliot's work? or the larger unit that's closer for Megan. We both agree the waterfront condo is the place that we want to go with. But it's so expensive, so is there anything we can do to try and get the price lower? Usually what I would tell you is that you should call the landlord and try to negotiate. But in this case, I spoke to the landlord when I booked the appointment, and he is not negotiable. But don't lose hope. It's a brand new building, which should mean there's a bunch of investors hoping to rent their places out. What I think we should do is get in touch with the property manager and see if there's any other units that are similar to the one I showed you, perhaps on lower floors, which tend to be less expensive because they have less of a view. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let's let's try it. a shot. Okay. If a larger building has a number of comparable units for rent, that gives you more options and also more negotiating power. We could actually swing by and check that one out this evening. OK, tonight at 6, we'll be there. Great. Thanks a lot. See you tonight. So how'd it go? <laughs> they have just had a unit come available on the ninth floor. So it's a lower floor, but it's identical in every way to the other unit. He said to swing by later tonight. We can check it out. You guys need to go to that appointment with first and last month's rent, 10 post-dated checks, your employment letters, and your rental application. OK. Be prepared. Yeah. I think we can do that. Good sure. luck. We went and checked out the apartment. It's almost identical to the one that I showed them this afternoon, but has a locker and was way less expensive. We ended up getting it for $2,075 a month, which is $125 a month cheaper than the original place we saw. Woot. <laughs> I don't have too many things, furniture-wise, so it just boxes and bins. Megan was able to save money on a truck rental by asking her family and Elliot to bring their cars to help move her stuff. This has been too difficult. The move has not gone as easily as Megan has made it out to be. My day started at about 4 in the morning in another city about five hours away from here, and I had to pack up a truck full of stuff and then after getting here, I had to help Megan move. It's been a bit of a nightmare. 
The priority for this condo is to make it feel warmer and to have it reflect Megan and Elliot's personalities. We've replaced the standard builder's paint with a warmer tone. We sanded Megan and Elliot's kitchen chairs so we could stain them to blend in with the condo's wood floors. I added a simple drum to an inexpensive light fixture to create a dramatic statement in the space. Some new linens and slipcovers will finish off the bedroom and reflect Megan and Elliot's individual tastes. I'm hoping this makeover will create the perfect space for Megan and Elliot to start their new life together. Come see your new place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really nice. I love it. Megan and Elliot set aside some money for furniture, so I helped them choose a couch, ottoman, and two chairs. Do you live here? <laughs> <laughs> it's just above and beyond what we expected it would be. I'm a little overwhelmed. There's yeah. a lot of changes to this place. Wow, it's very sleek. This is a great color. I love how bright it is. The condo was builder white when Megan and Elliot moved in, so I warmed it up with a nice neutral beige. I love what you've done with my art. Like, it looks so nice framed on the wall. Anytime we have a talented renter, we like to use their art and, uh, and oh make gosh. it part of their home. Framing pieces really elevates them and makes them feel more like art than craft. It's a great thing. I'm really proud of it. What do you think about the window coverings? Oh, yeah, they're gorgeous. These are custom fit silhouettes that your landlord was so kind to throw in for. We noticed even when we were moving in, you could see all the neighbors and they could see you. Yeah. So yeah. you definitely wanted the privacy. Good. Sure. Now, the TV stand you guys had was too big for the space. So I went with a smaller one, but it fits your big flat screen TV <laughs> very well. Yeah. And you guys bought the ottoman. Yeah. But we put the tray on top. The tray's awesome. That'll be really good for when we have guests over. Or eating in front of the TV, oh, yeah. as we usually do. <laughs> yeah. But you don't have to anymore because you have a fabulous dining yeah. room. Come on. We were able to turn the den into a fabulous dining room. Wow. Wow. Oh, I like the chandelier. <laughs> I think it really makes the dining room look elegant. They purchased a glass table and white chairs online, used, and got them for a great deal. Inexpensive drapery panels add elegance and privacy. And then we used your uh, hand-me-down shelving unit in here. Yeah, that looks great. More storage is always good. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys picked out some fabulous stools, but you chose the wrong color wood. So um, we did a nice sand and restain, and we chose a color that would match the floors a little bit better and be more cohesive with the rest of the place. They definitely look way better in here now. The kitchen really didn't need much, but in order to balance modern and zen, I added some stainless steel for Elliot and some natural elements for Megan. Wow. So here's the bedroom. Ooh, wow. I think it's very much what Megan was looking for in a bedroom. I'm okay with that. Headboard! <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for a headboard for about six months now, and Megan didn't like anything I found. Did it pass the test? Yeah, it's beautiful. This headboard was a floor model, so I got it for a great price, and I paired it up with some new bedding. Obviously, we've used your own dresser and side table. They look great in here. They're just a nice plain white. We also reused your TV oh. stand. We were wondering what we were going to do with the space, and that's the perfect use for that bench. It's really so much better than we could have done on our own. <laughs> Way better. That's an understatement. <laughs> the total budget for this makeover landed at $975. It is really important to take care of your space, make it your own right away so that when you're living in it for the next year or two, it feels like it's your own as opposed to one you're just renting temporarily to move on. So, a toast to living together in style. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for all your help. Anytime. <laughs> When I was just leaving university, I packed my car up completely full, no room left in the entire car, and began driving back here and made it about halfway and had a tire go flat. So I had to unload every single thing in my car to get to the spare tire, drive to get the main tire repaired, and then reload everything back into my car. Because our house sold so fast, we need to find a place to stay really fast. Oh, wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it looks a little bit... Uh... Ugly. But the room I really want to show you is right here. This looks really small. It's not what you're used to. Maybe our expectations are too high.
Mark, Carla, and the kids are ready for a real change. They want to leave their small town to start new lives in the big city. By trade, I'm a welder, and the factory that I was working at shut down. The career path that I've chosen now would be audio engineering. It's my passion. They've just sold their house and are looking forward to a fresh start for the entire family. We know people in the city. We have a lot of friends and family there. We'd love to live close to them. We can't afford to purchase a house in the city right now. Um, I think the transition will be a lot easier if we rent. Moving a whole family is a little trickier than just moving yourself. You've got to consider the area and quality of schools in the neighborhood. Dylan is in kindergarten right now, and Talise will be starting next year. So wherever we end up renting, we'll probably be there for a little while. Hey. Hi, Carla. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Come on in. Thank you. This is my husband, Mark. Hi, Jody. This place is gorgeous. It's totally new inside. Thank you. Yeah, we've done a lot of renovations here. There's three bedrooms, a bathroom up here. This kind of size works for you? We couldn't do without our basement, where Mark has his studio. So. Interesting. Come on. Oh, is this ever cool? Yeah. Wow, you guys have tons of equipment down here. Yes, this is our recording studio. The goal would be to make this a source of income. Why don't we go sit down and talk about the other things you need in a rental? OK. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So I see a sold sign on your front lawn. If you could have the ultimate rental, what would it look like? It would be a house mm -hmm. <laughs> with three bedrooms. Either a backyard or a park close by for the kids to play with. The dishwasher would be awesome. Laundry facility, for sure. It's really important that we get a mm -hmm. place that has a nice school close by, a nice community, safe. So what kind of budget are we working on? $1,500 inclusive, if possible. But uh, that's not going to happen, is it? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> there will certainly be some compromises. I think my biggest challenge here will be helping Carla and Mark navigate the rental market while prioritizing separate bedrooms for their kids or separate space for Mark's new career. If you're moving to a new city, you could be overwhelmed if you don't focus your search on a few key areas. Once you've narrowed down where you want to live, research comparable rentals to make sure you can afford it. The first place I'm taking Mark and Carla to see is a spacious bungalow just outside downtown. We're in a very family-oriented neighborhood just outside of downtown with a school that's just moments away oh, great. and public transit right at the front door. The house I'm showing you is on a busy street. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about the neighborhood and being a little bit further away from downtown? I don't feel so great about it, but I'm willing to check it out and see if it's worth the compromise. Come on in. Open concept, living dining room. What do you think? I think it's nice. I mean, it's nice and open and it's a lot like what we have now. I know that our furniture will fit well in there. Hmm. So? It's a little bit dingier than I'm used to, but I really like the dishwasher. I thought it was gross. <laughs> With a few simple steps, we can make this kitchen feel just as uh, clean and sharp as this place that you're used to. All right. Okay. Here's what I would do. The kitchen counter will get a makeover with a coat of paint. We'll install new, modern hardware on the kitchen cupboards. The old sink and faucet will be replaced with stylish new ones. And a new backsplash and window treatment will add some personality to the space. <laughs> I feel good about Jody's designs. I think yes. that they're going to brighten up the place a little bit. Typical rental four-piece bath, a linen closet, and the first of two bedrooms on this floor. So this could be the kids' room, or it could be your room. Yeah, I mean, it looks a little bit smaller than I would have hoped for a bedroom upstairs. We probably wouldn't put our kids in here because... The safety concern with the uh, patio door being right there. The backyard is fabulous. Let's take a closer look. Okay, All right, great. great. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. This is a great backyard. I love the deck in the backyard. It's awesome. We've got a shed, lots of room for the kids to run around. It could be the deal maker. So nice size bedroom in here. 
That's OK. OK, yeah. This could either be a master bedroom or a room for one of the kids, maybe both of them. I thought that, that we were going to look at three bedroom houses. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this house only has two bedrooms on the main floor, but the basement is finished, and there's two rooms down there. There's a generous laundry room. This is sort of a makeshift kitchen. There's a three-piece bath, but the room I really want to show you is right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is great. So I thought this room would make a great studio. The studio room is awesome. It's um, big. It's got lots of space for everything. So this is a really generous room that's a bit of a bonus. Wow, it's big. Wow. I like it. Yeah. What could you see doing with this room? Jam, for sure. This is great. It's got everything on your wish list. And it's only $1,500 plus utilities. Wow. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so with all that, do you think you could live here? I think we could live here. I think it's definitely got everything that we need. I'm not sure if this is the one. It has basically everything we're looking for, but... It's kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mark and Carla are coming from a home that they owned and put a lot of love and care into. So to come to a rental that's a little shabby, I can see why they have a hard time picturing themselves here. They're going to have to change their expectations. Families have unique priorities when looking for a rental. Factors like traffic volume and proximity to parks and schools are very important. I'm showing Mark and Carla this house in an established residential neighborhood. I think it's the perfect family-friendly rental. Guys, we are in a very nice family neighborhood directly across the street from a playground, an arena, a rec center. Great schools in this neighborhood. It's really a coveted neighborhood for young families. The house I'm going to show you is a detached two-story home with a very nice sized backyard. What do you think about being in this area? I like the neighborhood. I think it's great. I think the location is just where we want to be. Let's have a look inside. OK. okay. So come on in. How's this for a renovated space? I like it. it looks it, nice and clean. Yeah, I really like it. I like the floor. It's actually the same floor we just put in our house. That's, That's really hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit small, though. I don't know if our furniture will actually fit in here. Right, uh -huh. OK. What I would do to turn this into a proper living and dining area that also has traffic is something like this. We'll choose a wall color that will create the illusion of extending the floor to make the room feel more spacious. A sectional sofa in a neutral tone will create a feeling of openness while maximizing seating. An area rug will warm up and define the living room. And a narrow entertainment unit will allow traffic to flow freely through the space. I think Jody's design plans are really smart. So this, too, has just been renovated. Right. It looks nice. It looks really clean. Mm -hmm. And the cabinets look pretty new. No dishwasher. <gasps> I know. <laughs> if we don't have a dishwasher, it means a lot more work. Your laundry would be just inside this door. Come see what's over here. All right. So check out this yard. Ooh, wow. This oh my is goodness. massive. I could see the kids having a great time out here. Yeah. For sure. Fantastic. Let's look upstairs. OK. okay. I was thinking this room would be good for the kids. Yeah. yeah, I could see the kids staying in here. Mm -hmm. It's a nice big room. We're not used to carpeting, but it looks pretty new. It is brand new, so nice oh. and clean. I'm not a fan of carpet. Me neither. So this is the smallest of the bedrooms, and I was thinking it might work as a studio. It's a little small. Maybe our expectations are too high, but... Or our budget's too low. <laughs> if we rethink these rooms, mm -hmm. could this work for the kids, maybe with a bunk bed? It will seem a little bit small with all their toys and stuff in here, but if we have to, then I'm sure we can make it work. Ooh, also renovated. Oh, wow. This bathroom is very impressive. Yeah. Everything's new. Yeah. It's not gungy, and it's nice and clean, and I, I feel good in here. Yeah, good. It's, it's like we never left home. So this is intended to be the master bedroom. It's nice that it has the two closets, mm -hmm. which is great. This place is renovated, and it's under budget at $1,450 plus utilities. Ooh. Wow. That sounds good. It does sway me a bit. So could you see yourselves living here? It's got a lot of the qualities that we were looking for, but I don't know if it's the one. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure yet. 
I wish it was a little bit bigger. In my experience, this is a really big downtown house. It's renovated, it's under budget, it's gonna go quick. Houses can be a great rental option for a family. They offer privacy, parking, and access to outdoor space. Because rental homes are often tucked away on residential streets, the best way to find them is by exploring on foot. That's how I found this next rental. It's a large home on a desirable, family-oriented street. I have found a rental in a very safe, family-oriented neighborhood. Do you know anything about this area of town? Yeah, um, our sister-in-law and our niece live really close to here, mm -hmm. so we super. That's fantastic. The rental I'm about to show you takes up the main and second floor of a detached house. It has a little bit of a backyard. There's parking, uh, but you're just down the street from some schools, parks, etc. So great. all the things that you'd be looking for in a family-oriented neighborhood. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Well. Very charming. Very good. <laughs> good. It has old world charm. You'll yes. see more old world charm as we go along. So this is the living room. It is currently yeah. full with very large scale furniture, mm -hmm. but it's actually a really good size. We've never really had a separate family room, so right. it, it's kind of different and I like that. So here's the dining room, very full of character. I like it. Oh, wow. The ceiling's cool. It's very inviting, very warm, great for entertaining. Um, from here you have a pretty good view of the backyard. It's not what you're used to. No. What is that, grapevines? Uh, that's right. So, thank goodness there's parks down the street. Is there? <laughs> is there? Is there? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at the kitchen. It's got even more character. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's got the space that we want, but uh, I don't see what I'm looking for in no the kitchen. Dishwasher. No dishwasher. Uh-oh. It looks a little bit... Uh, Ugly. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> there is laundry included with this place. Oh, okay. However, it's shared with a basement tenant. Um, yeah. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Shall we have a look upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Let's, well, let's head up. Okay. So this would be your master bedroom. Oh wow, it's really big. It is. It's like twice the size of our bedroom right now. The closet's huge. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Oh wow. Plenty of room. And here's the bathroom. It's gross looking. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's very small and it's very old school like the rest of the house. Yeah. <laughs> and the toilet's like right behind the door. It just seems like it wasn't laid out very well. We have small kids and we don't have any privacy in our house anyways. That door is always going to be opening and hitting somebody. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. I think it would make a really good studio. Oh, wow, okay. It's definitely large enough for, for all of my gear. Okay, let's have a look at the kids' room. Oh, okay. Would this work for the kids? This looks really small. I just, I can't see this working very well. There's always the option of giving the kids the master bedroom. All our furniture fits in here anyways because right. our room is so small. If you were having your studio right there, mm -hmm. then it, the noise from that wouldn't bother the kids so much. Then we have to rethink the master bedroom. I would feel much better with the kids sharing this room. I just want them to be happy because it's such a big move for them and I want them to be really excited about their, their new place. So what I see happening in here to make this a fantastic kids room um, is the walls will get a bright and gender neutral paint treatment. We'll create a customized craft and homework area for the kids. A bunk bed with his and hers bedding is the perfect space-saving, kid-friendly solution. And we'll add an area rug to make the large play area nice and cozy. So do you think with that kind of design, the kids could be really comfortable in here? I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that'll be great. I'm really excited about Jody's design plans. I, I think that it's so cool what she came up with him. I think my kids would love it. Mm -hmm. And this house rents for 1500 plus utilities. It's a really good deal. Yeah, it's a good deal. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. An added bonus to this rental is that it's very close to Mark and Carla's only family in the city. You can't underestimate the importance of having family nearby. So what do the kids think about this idea of moving to the big city? <laughs> I think they're really excited. Yeah, they're really excited. Yeah. So I wonder which of these houses would be best for them and best for you guys as a family. What did you think about the bungalow? 
that had the great big basement with a bonus room. Had it been closer to where we wanted to be, it would be a really good option, a really good place for us. There was lots of space in a great backyard, but, yeah. oh, busy street, no thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is the bungalow completely out because of location? Um, I think it would be safe to say it's out. Yeah. What did you think about the newly renovated two-story home? I liked all the renovations on that home. It was very new mm -hmm. looking and mm. clean looking. <laughs> I like the rec center right across the street. I mean, my desk wouldn't fit up in the proposed room for the studio, so that kind of doesn't really work. It's on a busy street, and for us, that's a big safety concern. What did you think about the one that had the old world charm? <laughs> I like that it was on a quieter street. It had a very cozy feeling. I disliked the fact that um, there was a tenant in the basement, the laundry was shared. Yeah, no dishwasher. Yeah, that ooh, big one. So will it be the renovated house with the big backyard? Or the house on the quieter street that hasn't been updated? We chose the apartment with all the old world charm because it felt the most like home to us. We've got a really big hurdle to overcome uh, with getting you into a rental because neither of you have a job in the big city. <laughs> exactly. It could be a little problem. You guys need to show your bank statements uh, and maybe your agreement to purchase and sale. We, we can, can do, do that. that. Who's be? the best negotiator? Someone's got to call and make this deal happen. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. Mom's the word. Hi, this is Carla calling. I was Carla told the landlord house. that even though they yeah. didn't have jobs in the city yet, they'd have available cash because of the recent sale of their house. Okay. She offered to provide a statement or letter from their bank to prove they weren't a financial risk. Thank you. Bye. What did he say about the whole bank statement? He, want, he wanted to have a, a letter from the bank, and he also wanted to get a credit check on us. So Yeah, totally reasonable. Call me and let me know. It went great with the landlord. We showed him all our financial statements, and he thought it was acceptable, and he approved us over all the other applicants. Yeah, because he really wanted a family in there. Mark and Carla aren't renting for a long period of time. They'd like to buy again in a year or two. So I think they made a great choice. Since Carla and Mark were moving a whole house and their family, they had to rent a large moving van. Moving to another city is a big undertaking, so they enlisted the help of lots of friends and made sure they were well organized. Start packing right away. <laughs> Don't wait till the last minute. I found Mark, Carla, and the kids the perfect new home in the city. I'm giving the master bedroom a fun and kid-friendly makeover. We're prepping and taping the walls for the new paint treatment. I'm giving an inexpensive dresser lots of character with some decorative knobs. We'll turn a simple wooden shelf into a custom storage unit by painting the doors with chalkboard paint. And I'm creating playful, personalized art for the kids' walls. When we're done, the kids will have a new bedroom that the whole family will love. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's amazing. It looks so much bigger. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, it looks so good. It's all your furniture, just placed in a way that makes the room feel really big but still seat lots of guests. The living room was a simple case of arranging Mark and Carla's furniture. The key was to keep it simple and let the home's architectural features shine through. There is one very special room upstairs, so why don't you guys grab the kids and I'll let you see it. Oh, awesome. So, so excited. Right. <laughs> Since Dylan and Talise are sharing a room for the first time, I've created a space that should be appealing to both of them. So, are you ready to see your, your new bedroom? Yes. Yes? It's right over here. You can in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Awesome. <laughs> I love it so much. I love the stripes. I love the different colors. A gender-neutral horizontal stripe gives the room a sense of fun, while playful bedding on the bunk beds clearly identifies who sleeps where. Talise has a little section. Dylan has a little section. It's like, it's, perfect. it's just amazing. Because this will be both a bedroom and a playroom, we left lots of open space for the kids to play. I always try to personalize big box store items, and I did that here by using chalkboard paint on a small cabinet and adding fancy new hardware to a dresser. There you go. All right. Ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> 
This makeover came in at $720. Mark and Carla purchased the bunk bed, and I added the toy storage, craft table, bed linens, and a new light fixture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It would have broke our heart if the kids would say, we want to go home. Yeah. And this just feels like home, just being in this room. I love it. Open floor space, a craft table, and plenty of toy storage give mom and dad hope for a neater main floor. The craft table, which I thought was very important, it can grow with the kids. Oh, wow. It's extendable? Yeah, yeah That's there's great. just little levers on the bottom, okay. and you can just click it up yep. as the kids get bigger. Well, it seems like everybody uh, quite likes the bedroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'll let you guys get settled. Enjoy. Thank right, you. We will. Thanks so much. As a parent, I feel so good that the kids have this space. I just, mm -hmm. it makes this transition so easy. Especially for the kids. Yeah. yeah. If they're happy, we're happy. Driving the truck was, was pretty crazy. We learned our lesson, like we've moved before and we have left it to the last minute. This time we're more mature, we were organized. We were and, prepared. And it went well. It went and really we didn't smart. even really fight, maybe once or twice. Maybe once or twice. Not, not so bad. <laughs>